All right, here we are in Reno, Nevada at Dave Miller Speed Sports, looking at a very nice 1933 Ford three-window coupe. It is a Henry Steel car. Um, cars like this are hard to find. It's a multi-year project where the gentleman's health isn't allowing him to finish it now. You really don't even want to call it a project because it's pretty much not too far away from ready to go. Uh, from what we can tell, it's an all Henry Steel body. We've been underneath and we also have document and paperwork on it. Uh, the car came out of Oregon originally and uh, Mike McKenna did all the body work and stuff like that at uh, restorations and reproductions in Portland. I believe it's Portland, but it's in Oregon at least. The body on this car is just beautiful. I believe it's finished in a Folkstone gray. It was painted here in Reno, Nevada. The interior's done. The car is built, assembled, the motor was done, 276 cubic inch uh, flathead V8. We will have undercarriage, or undercarriage and engine video here for you shortly, so you want to hang on to the end of the video. We're going to do a little walk around. Um, basically, it's not even had the brakes, brakes bled, but everything's assembled. The car is ready to fire. Uh, there's no gas in the fuel tank. The paint job is beautiful on the car. It has an Italian leather interior in it. We'll do a little walk around here and kind of give you a peek. Working cow vent style car. Uh, up on the lift, we covered the fenders for you. The rear fenders are definitely Jenny, Jenny steel. The front fenders are steel. Based on what i the looking at the bottom side, I don't believe they're an original steel Henry steel fender, um, but they are steel. And the fit is excellent on this car. The running boards are probably reproductions. They are vulcanized rubber. The grill is just setting in there. It's at that stage. It came back from the upholsterer. Um, it, it's been a multi-year project, and I say 10 plus years. It's been sitting for about five years here in a heated and air-conditioned airplane hangar. Commercial size headlights on it. But really just a nice Jenny feel on the car. It's got BF Goodrich TA radials on it. Those are uh, Vintique style wheels with Ford hubcaps. Um, working cow vent kind of car. See there's steel. The roof has not been chopped and it has not been filled. They use kind of a contrasting or not, yeah, close color uh, uh, fill material. All the glass is in the car. Basically, the car's assembled cosmetically, and you're really only fluids away and adjustments away and a few little things here and there from getting it done. Door jam to door jam, and it's very nice. The interior has a, uh, this is a matte finish on the panels and on the dash, it's very nice. This is a fine grade Italian leather interior, Jenny style door handles, grabs, window cranks. We'll go ahead and crank up this window just to show you this car is functional and ready to rock. It has all the felt in it, glasses in it rolled up. Roll it back down here. Door jam to door jam, all the hardware is nicely done. This is a Jenny seat. It's a fine grade Italian leather. The carpet's a wool style. It's all been trimmed out in the same Italian leather. You can smell it. Very nice. Glove box right here. Leather wrap banjo style steering wheel. Anyway, we'll keep, look at that door. I'm gonna shut that again for you here. Yeah, I'll get it right here. I, I'm one handed, two handed, but the door shuts perfectly. hard sometimes I'm leaning over a lift and we'll do the shut it on the driver's side also hinges still in place deal with the rough here I have, uh, you will see in the trunk video, I have confirmed this is a Jenny deck lid also. Looks like a single stage paint to me. Body lines are beautiful on the car. You can tell it has the bow here like it's supposed to. 
Jenny style tail lights, nice custom exhaust. The body panel is probably a reproduction, but it is steel. It is titled in California. Oh, no kidding. We have a copy of the California title. Yeah. That will be included with the car. All right, I'll uh, Thomas here. I'll tell him. I don't know if we have anything to sell, but I'll, I'll bring it up with him. Just keep walking around here. We're in the shop, so. Uh, Kind of give you a feel. You want to definitely hang on to the end of the video because we do cover the undercarriage on the car. Get in here, the driver's side. I'm going to show you the same thing, but again, I'm not doing things. Boom. The door fit is excellent. The gaps are nice. Again, Italian leather. Seat lifts up like you would expect. The seat uh, body has been re-finished uh, itself, restored. Yeah. Again, driver's windows in, but the oh, interiors, since it's been done, the interiors... Uh, the last thing that was done to the car was the interior is what I'm trying to say. We have pictures at spudsgarage.com of under the dash. Again, this is a matte finish. It's very nice. Fits the car nicely. There is a wiper hole on the outside of the car. Like I think he was just gonna plug it, but you could put a wiper in here if you wanted. I'm gonna crank the windshield open here. As I go along, it works fine. Actually works very nice. I'm gonna roll down the rear window. It rolls down, I believe. There it is, coming down. Right there. Again, I'm trying to do things one-handed sometimes. The, the headliner is done in a very nice soft cloth. I'd say LeBaron Bonnie style cloth feel. So a Jenny feel on the headliner. Stainless uh, leather wrap steering wheel that matches the leather, matches the seating in the car. The turn signals are left right here. It's got Hainline gauges in it with a digital odometer. Obviously the car has no miles on it. Look at the stitching where he brought the headliner material together with the leather. Very nice. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. You call us with any questions. Um, one to work the cow vent, which I just pushed there. Just to show you it has a functional cow vent. Anyway, we're thinking it's about time you get this. Follow the end of the video and you hop in. At least you got a good feel. What a beautiful three window. Cars like this are really hard to find. Go to spudsgarage.com. All right, we'll take a look at the engine compartment here on the driver's side. Again, this is a, uh, the engine has been gone through. We're going to try and dig up the specs and put it at Spud's Garage. We'll contact the engine builder. We know that. Everything's been gone through on the car. It's just, it went out to the upholster. It's come back to the restoration shop here. And it's, as you see it, it has a, looks like a 59AB based on the bell housing in it. It has an op polished Offenhauser intake manifold with two Stromberg 97s. It has the electric cooling fan on the factory radiator, or factory style radiator. Looks like it has a crab distributor in it. it has tri-Y heat coated pipes on it. All the wiring is very nicely done. We took pictures underneath the dash, so on and so forth. The grill is just sitting there and attached here and uh, up top, but the, the hardware that attaches to the hood side for the hood side is not here. Um, we've went over the car as much as we can. It's a brass tank radiator. It is a hopped up flatty. Obviously you're looking at a, I believe a remote oil cooler here. 276 inches. It's 276 cubic inches. Okay, we're going to go over to the other side of the engine compartment. The paint is very nice and it goes all the way through the car. All the weltings on the, the hood rest points here. The grill is very nice grill. That's a reproduction. It's a reproduction. Okay, he's raising it up so we can get a better look here. Again, this engine has never been fired. All right.
Super, right, we'll go to the, the passenger side. side. Dave's holding the hood up for us here. Same information as over on the driver's side. It's got a polished uh, brass radiator tank. It is converted to 12 volts, yep. right? Yep. And it's got uh, dual horns here. Yep, Toyota horns. Toyota. And then he's done a custom uh, hood rest here. This is a fuel pressure regulator right there. It has a mini high torque starter. I covered that on the undercarriage. You're actually going to see undercarriage here pretty soon. So you want to hang on to the end of it. Um, the distributor could have Petronics in it, or do you know? That's a Mallory. It's a Mallory in there. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to see because it's a little dark. I covered it on the other side. I figured it was an upgraded distributor, and those are Stromberg 97s. Very nicely done. All right, hang on to the end video. Right, we'll definitely take a look more. at the trunk here. It's finished off like the interior of the car. Appears they use the same Italian leather. It's like a cream. I guess I would call that, or a buckskin in a way. Battery mounts right there. This is a Jenny deck lid, based on my observation. All right, there's the trunk for you. Is very nice. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty of still photos and make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Right, promise we're Thanks gonna look at the video. undercarriage here and kind of give you a good idea. As mentioned earlier, this has been a multi-year project. It's at Miller Speed Sports here in Reno, Nevada. Gonna kind of give you an idea. It is an obvious and very professional body off style restoration. It remains factory chassis. It looks like it has a dropped axle in it. It's just standard gas shocks. It's like probably 40 juice brakes. It's got juice brakes front and rear. Standard buggy spring. The brakes have never been bled on it. The gas tank does not have any fuel in it. Obviously, we've told you that the engine has already been rebuilt, but the car's prepped. It went to the upholsterer. Um, again, I'm covering stuff that I've covered before. The fenders, this is an all-steel car. These fenders on the left side, the front fenders appear to be very possibly reproductions based on the bead and the look of the condition. I know the rear fenders, when I get to, I've already looked at them, are all Jenny fenders. The floor pans on this car are absolutely beautiful and believed to be original on it according to what we know. Here's the updated master cylinder right here. It's, it's hooked up through stock pedals. Wishbones here, it has a very nice exhaust system that's custom done. The frame appears to have been painted. Excuse me, it's powder coated. The floor pans are beautiful on this car. Just gonna kinda go around here and kinda give you a good feel. Typically we would have a car like this outside um, where we were ability to cover a lot more. Very nice done. Aircraft style exhaust connections. Fuel lines are run very nice. That's an inline fuel assist, electric fuel assistant pump there. Juice brakes on the rear. Again, the brakes have never been bled. This is this is a turn key, ready to turn the key, go through the fluids, go over every nut and bolt on it, so on and so forth. The exhaust is pretty neat. I don't think I've seen anybody do that. It, there's, the exhaust does not hang down below the car in any way. It ran up close to the body and through the frame rails. What they did here, there was more room on the bottom and uh, the exhaust went underneath it. It's kind of a neat little touch. The fuel tank itself, it's reproduction probably, and it doesn't look like it's ever had any fuel in it. This is a Jenny 33 body and floor pans from what we know. The rear fenders are beautiful. You can tell they've been hammered over the years here. It's got a Jenny bead on it, so the rear fenders are genuine Ford from what I can tell. They're not reproductions. You can see the body color on the side of the body here. 
Walk around here. The, the uh, tires are 255-70 R15 on the rear. Uh, date code on these tires, it's been inside here the whole time, is 03. It's mentioned with 10 year plus project. It's uh, the upholstery of the car is already done, all that kind of stuff. You've already seen that. Give you another angle on the master cylinder there. Trying to cover as much as I can. You're buying this, uh, looks to me like they put an e brake on it, which is a, a very nice to do, very tedious. Gentleman would come in and work on it, and, and Dave let him come in. So, just a very, very neat little car. The front tire size is a P19560 R15. Um, date code on these tires are uh, 11 of 02. So, again, same era tires. You're looking at it from the bottom side here. All right, there you have it.